Hello everybody and welcome back to Runout.tv. I hope you're all doing okay. And I'm playing Dillinger today. Um, he is he watches my videos, which is always fantastic. I'd like to also give a shout out to the son of Instigator and Geiger. He watches my videos as well. Thank you so much for that. Um, and tells us dad about all the action involved in the video. So hopefully there's gonna be a lot of action involved in today's video. Um the first thing that I want to tell you about is I did play the first round of the virtual uh, pool US Open. Great shot there by Dillinger. Um, and I beat Mr. Bill 21-13, which was a good win. Unfortunately, upon doing that, I'm just going to put my NHL CD away. Unfortunately, upon doing that, the tournament got cancelled because it was all going a little bit wrong. Which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, tournament was putting people through. If you actually look on my history, it says that we forfeited the match, and he got selected <laughs> as a random winner, which wasn't the case. I did beat him. It was a good match, good solid game, uh, plenty of good runouts. I had lots of breaking clearances, and yeah, it was a good game. And I was, a little, I must admit, I was a little bit nervous. Big tournament, you know, prize on the line, and apparently they're going to restart the tournament, but. Current results aren't going to stand, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I think uh, that's a bit of a nightmare because, you know, I did earn that victory against a very, very good player. Um, Bill's a good player. Improved a lot. And it looks like Dillinger's going to be breaking and running in this rack. Took him nicely. And I will live to fight another day on this particular rack, but it's a first of five. I've just played him in one match and beat him 5-1. But he is a decent player, so... Um, Hopefully I'll get a, another chance or two. Now I would normally take the combination shot, but because we're practicing, I'm not going to do that. Um, Bill <laughs> got yesterday's game. Um, did take three quick combos to go 3-0 up, so nine ball could be a frustrating game. He was absolutely right to do that. Um, it's part of the game. We've got to just accept it. Some people don't like it. I always kind of accept it as just part and parcel of nine ball. It can be a frustrating part of nine ball, but it's a part nonetheless. Um, also, if you guys are in the UK and you get the chance to watch the Rack Pack as a video, I would highly recommend you do that. Um, features Jake Treadaway, uh, sorry, Luke, Luke Treadaway as Alex Higgins, and another guy. Now, look where the black ball is here. I'm just gonna play this shot and hopefully not scratch. Now, I want to go straight down here. Now, look at where this is, right on the edge. Um, we're just going to have a quick look here. And now it's inside the, if it was right on that lip, we're going to be okay. So we are going to be able to play this with a little bit of backspin and just scoot back a little bit for it in the corner. If it had been right on the angle, I might have had to be a little bit more careful. But that's a nice run out and brings parity back to 1-1. One, one. Um, now I've been breaking from the centre, getting just a nice solid central hit on the white ball, trying to get a ball or two in. That blue might carry, although it doesn't look like it's going to. So yeah, one of the, my breaking percentage is really bad. So Dylan just made some requests, and he is Dwayne Kubrick. Hello there, in the chat. You might not be able to see him. I usually put the logo in the chat just so people can you know, could have a chat without feeling like I could put that online. Um, nobody's ever, you know, Hugh does that and, and, and fairly, you know, openly does it. Now, if I hit this combo, it's going to go in off in the corner. So what I might try and do, although I think I'm going to hit the four, is, go, is end up behind the five ball. Like that. I'll take that all day. Now, believe me, that's a lot easier to do when the pressure's not on than what it is to do when the pressure's on. So it puts your opponent under pressure and he has fouled. And he's also done me a favour by putting the tough ball. So this should be, although from black eight to nine ball, it should be straightforward to run this out. Now this, guys, is when you kind of earn your stripes as a nine ball player because 
you pretty much have to clear up at this point. Um, there really is no excuse. When you're playing a good player like Bill, I played last night, you've, you've got to clear this up. So I just want to Right, just got to get that off the back cushion because what I want to do here is get back. Oh, well, I haven't gone quite as far as I want to. So here, the thing is not to not to um, go in the middle bag. So you just give yourself a bit more back spin, which has gone well, and now the easy nine down the cushion. So we might get a shot on the one here, it's quite easy. We have, but the board, everything's gone to the, the right hand side. So again, we don't wanna, we don't wanna get the nine because we wanna practice. So here, I'm gonna try and move the three. I might not get the chance, so I'm gonna try and punch it past the, the seven and move the three. Well, I have, but not in the way that I intended, so that was a bit lucky, so I'm just gonna have to say sorry for that one because that was, Kind of a bit lucky, really. We're very lucky, Craigie. So everything's sort of flowing quite nice. Playing well, although I haven't quite got the, the angle on this, but what I'm gonna probably do is just leave myself a long seven don't have to be too precise. Long seven's fine because all I've got to do is punch it in. And well, that's not as easy as I would have should have left it, really. But it's very makeable for a 3 1 lead and some nice, some nice run outs. This could be dry. And is right, so Dillinger gets another chance back at the table. Always a very nice guy, Dillinger. Very polite. I um, always enjoy seeing him. I'm pretty sure we've had a, a few interactions online. Now, that's unlucky because if it hadn't been for that, I mean, when you're playing someone like me who can clear up, you know, quite a lot of the time, you can sometimes feel like you're persecuted because that just kind of ran about and then landed perfect now here with a little bit of top it'll skim off the nine and come away like that and then i can screw across key thing here was to leave a bit of angle on the three so i've just got to make sure i don't overdo it just want to bounce a little bit that's perfect and then just bounce it off the now here You've got to be just a little bit careful. The way to do this is to actually put more of an angle into the pocket and come past the, the six. And then what I'm going to do is go around the angles to somewhere over there to leave the long the, the seven in. So I used three cushions, one, two. Well, it doesn't matter if I don't hit the third one, but ideally I want to be able to screw back. Well, screw back's better. And then we just roll down with this the eight. Probably go off... Well, probably top spin with a little bit of left, just to kick it off the cushion, and then cut it in. That'll just bounce it away from the nine, just heightens the angle. Ooh, a little bit of jumpiness there, I do apologize. Pressing Z there to try and speed things up. Now, are we gonna get some friends here? Nope, that's the second break in a row that we've had next to nothing. I mean, look at those cluster of balls. The green, if I'd hit it a bit harder, would have gone in, but the red and the brown would have been, well, it's very difficult to break that cluster up. Did the blue go? Very, very tight. I'm gonna say, gonna say no. Dylan just done that well, but it's popped back out. 
Um, but there's not a lot of damage because I don't think I can clear up. Me being me, I'm going to try and squeeze the green in. Well, that's a bad shot because what I've left him, if he plays it with a bit of bottom left, he might be able to get into that blue and red. And if you just hit this hard, see if he does it. And he hasn't done it, but I think he's played an even better shot, which is to leave the... Well, well that's a really good shot because now he can't fail to move the red. He might well get the black as well. I would go for this in the middle because the nine's a tricky shot. So you might get another goal. Playing safe is tricky because yeah, it might pop back over, which is, is what's happened. Now I'm going to go for this. A lot of bottom. I'm going to either go off two cushions and I'm going to come back into the, the three. Like that. Now that's obviously worked out well. I couldn't have possibly predicted how well it landed, but at the same time, you had a good chance of that if you could have just concentrate on the pot and angle and then hopefully, you know, if you bowl, the pool gods sometimes reward you for it. Now what I'm going to do here is a bit of an advanced shot. I'm going to screw into the nine and open it up a bit so it's not quite as tough a shot off the black. Well, again, the danger is that you do that. Might have got lucky. I haven't. So here, I'm trusting a little bit to look here. This, that wasn't what I intended. So now I need to bounce. That's worked out well. Bit of a showbiz shot there. But that could have been so much worse. Harsh thing for Dillinger is that now I've made the rest of the rack really easy. And the nine for the win. So thank you for playing Dillinger. And a good 5-1 win against a good player.